Welcome. Good work, baggers of Montbrasem. Curses, they've hit the other ship. Give the order to open fire at once. Open fire at once. We're almost out of powder over here. We have to do something or they'll follow us all the way to Montbrasem. Hey, San Miglio. We have to split up. You go on to Montbrasem without us. Sure you can do it without any help from us? Yes, of course. Don't worry. See you back at the island. Now it's between the two of us, James Brooke. Best pity up, your excellency. Give it here, Pidock. I'll catch him if it's the last thing I ever do. What on earth is the man doing? Has he gone completely mad? I think that old Eye of the Hurricane story is true? It's the only way we can get them off our backs, little brother. But the ship will capsize, for sure! We've got to try. It's our only chance. I know we're going to make it. Lash yourselves down, everybody! Hold on tight. We're going into the Eye of the Hurricane. <laughs> and now it's coming for us. Well, we no longer have any reason to stay around here. Out to starboard, set a course back to Labuan. What the devil's happening? No, it almost seems as if... was carrying us west. We must be off the coast of Varuni. Varuni, did you say? Aren't we ever going to see Montbrasim again? It all depends on Sam Biglion and whether he manages to find us in time. I think something must have happened to them. What should we do, Sam Biglion? Tell Pease and Gu to prepare the ship. We're going to find them. With another good haul like the one we had off the coast this morning, we'll be able to buy enough rum to set the whole island of Borneo afloat. Captain, the sea is full of flotsam. There must have been a shipwreck here last night. Mm, that might be something nice to pick up. The Zook is purple. That should mean good luck. There's a big ship approaching! It must be some big Leon. Yay! He found us at last! We'll soon be back in Montpressem, little brother. No, it's too big for the tiger. And that huh? is not our flag. <gasps> Out of the frying pan and into the fire. You were right, Sandokan. But the Zook showed good luck. As to that man, the fishing hair is richer than I thought. Typhoon <laughs> Fletcher! Cheer up, little fishes! Welcome aboard! Fish! Welcome to my humble abode! I'd put that sword down if I were you! You haven't changed, Typhoon. You're still the same cowardly bully. Is that so? Let's see how tough you talk while you and your friends are fed to the sharks. Leave him alone! Stand back. I'll take care of this young lady myself. Teach us her manners.
You know the story about the vegetarian shark? The one with the happy ending? Goodbye and good riddance, Sandokan. No! Slap her in the face. No. On the double. Sure to take over more too, Sam. Now we can use his services. Throw him in the galley. He can peel potatoes. Ah. Today. Hey, little brother, are you pulling my leg? Yes, but it's purely unintentional, Santa Ken. I wonder what happened to Paco. Pieces of a hog. I wonder what in the world happened to them. Huh? Look what's coming up in the net. Here. It's Paco. Huh? Strange. There weren't any tankets like this on Sapagar's barge. What are you trying to tell us, Paco? Huh? Of course, it's Rotgut West Indian rum. Only that old drunkard Typhoon Fletcher would have bottles of it aboard his ship. Then they are alive, but not in the best of company, it would seem. Yes, and now our job is to find out quickly where the pirates have taken them. <laughs> Somebody bring me some more rum. There should still be a couple of barrels on the poop deck if Wellskinner hasn't drunk them. Golly boy, those plates can wait. Go get the rum. <laughs> Just stick a straw in your belly button. <laughs> <laughs> if only Sandokan was here, he'd teach those drunkards a lesson. I just know he would. Kamamori. Huh? Huh? Over uh, here. Uh... <laughs> I don't believe it! How did you manage to get there? I'll be happy to fill you in later on, but right now, get a rope and help us up! Hurry! Right away, Sandokan! Scullery boys have no need for a rope aboard this ship. Now just make sure you behave yourself, or I'll lock you in the brig along with a thousand rats. In the meantime, you can spend the night in the hold with your friend. Good, thank you. I have wonderful news. They're here, Marianne. When you say they, do you mean? Yes, they're clinging to the anchor, but don't ask me how they got there. I swear, those two have nine lives, like cats. And now we have to find a way to help them get on board the ship again. Yes, but how in the world do we do it? Perhaps that rat could help us. That's the craziest idea I ever heard. <laughs> With all the pearls we plundered in that last village, we'll be able to buy every barrel of rum and fellow back. When we put into port, we'll have the best party you ever saw. <laughs> hey, look, I found the barrels. They're both still full. That was a very close shave. <laughs> Yeah, it's, this is no time to play games. Are you all right down there? Couldn't be better, little brother. Just pulling your leg again, but it's nothing personal, believe me. Uh, oh. Hey, what do you say I trade your leg for an arm? I can't hold on much longer. I can't believe you 
just let go like that? Forgive me, my love. I can't leave him behind. I... Just sit and rest up a while. Uh, well, I'll be all right. Thanks to you, I'm still alive. In my place, you'd have done exactly the same. Uh, quite an adventure, wasn't it, Paco? Uh, I almost forgot. It was every man for himself when we were underwater. Don't worry, he'll probably be all right. You'll see. I don't think so, Sam McCann. I thought he was on my shoulder the whole time. Poor little pal. You know, I'm gonna miss him. He's gone everywhere with me since the day I found him. But now we have to worry about Marianne and Kemma Murray. If my sense of direction isn't waterlogged, this must be the west coast of Aruni. And Balabac. That's right. If I understood what Ear Slicer was saying on deck, that's exactly where Typhoon and his pirate scum are headed. To the Balabac Pearl Market. Well, what are we waiting for, little brother? We haven't a moment to lose. 203, 204... Looks like we're all gonna be filthy rich, Captain. 205, 206, 207. Filthy rich is right, my friend. Sultan Suleiman will pay a fortune for these, not to mention the most valuable pearl of all. Huh? You mean that girl in the hold, Captain. Yeah, she's just the kind the Sultan likes. He'll pay her weight in gold. That pig wants to sell Marianne to the Sultan. Make sure she has plenty to eat. The wait, Sultan likes some plump. <clears throat> And remember to mind your manners with her, you lout. She's a lady. How can we put that to use? Please excuse the interruption, my lady. I brought you a little something to fill your belly with. What's this? Have you been trying to work yourself free, my lady? The rat's been bothering you, my lady. I'm terribly sorry about that. Here. Oh, am I a dumbbell? You can't drink like that. <laughs> Put it down, my lady. What about the little brat? Where is he? He's behind those crates, but he's still asleep. There's some breakfast here for you, too, if you want it. Oh, please let him sleep. He's just exhausted, poor child. I'll save some of my breakfast for when he wakes up. Whatever pleases you pleases me, my lady. But he'd better hurry. We'll be in your port shortly. Sander Ken and Yanitz. Why haven't they come too? I'm afraid we've lost them, Marianne. They must have fallen into the sea before I got there. And even worse, <gasps> I was eavesdropping on a typhoon's window, and I heard him say he's going to sell you to Sultan Suleiman of Varuni. 
arrows in view! We're on the right course! They seem to be headed toward Balabak, the capital of Varuni. That makes sense. Typhoon trades his pearls to the Sultan for right. ramen gold. And Suleiman's reputation is that he's greedy for money and as merciless as a hyena worrying a carcass. We'd better find our friends soon. They managed to untie themselves, but not to escape. Well, this is your big day. You're going to be put up for auction. <laughs> Remember not to drink up all the profits. Bring some back for the crew. What do you got in the basket? Strong cheese, sir, to sell in the market. Try some, it's good. Ugh, take it away! This will go down well, that's in that. the annals of Sandokan. A mere footnote. Hurry up! The auction's already started! Lot 6 is now open for bidding. I have a bid for 300 Malaki, Your Excellency. Must be the terrible Sultan in person. Lord Six goes to the gentleman in the front row for 300 Malaki. I see their ship. They've run up another flag to avoid being recognized. There are only two men on deck. Perhaps the others are below. Patan, you stay here on board. Jiro Batal, C. Spider, Pizangu, and I are going to pay a surprise call. Typhoon Fletcher proposes 500 ounces of pearls of the purest quality. Who will offer 500 Malaki, gentlemen? Sold to His Highness for 1,000 Malaki. Just a moment, Your Excellency. You still haven't seen the finest pearl of all. Admire the fine features of this rare jewel. You beast! Your Excellency will have great amusement taming her fiery spirit. Sold to His Supreme Highness for 2,000 Malaki. Kamamori! Oh, please, sir! Take me, too! I'm a fearless warrior! I'll throw him in to sweeten the deal. Fine! We yeah. can use another scullery boy. His Excellency appreciates the gesture. Excuse me, is this where they hold the pearl auction? I am afraid it has just ended, stranger. You will have to come back a month from now. Did you hear that? We got here too late. We'll have to find out where Typhoon and his drunkards have gone. <laughs> People will do anything to avoid paying the check. Uh, who's next? Mm. <laughs> uh, you lily-livered swabbies! Mm. You, Abdullah! Not me! I don't want my bones broken! <laughs> Milk shops! Isn't there a man among you? Anyone who beats me at arm wrestling gets 20 golden malaki. I can beat you. Whenever you're ready. The beggar off the streets dares to challenge me. But not for 20 malaki. If I win, I get your ship and all your booty. <laughs> Except that if you lose, you'll donate your ears to my friend's collection. Yes. <laughs> I'll bet all the cash you have in the till that the pirate will lose. I say you got a deal, friend. Hate it, 
that's losing a bet. Looks like we got here just in time. Paco! Am I happy to see you again? Where are Marianne and Kamamori? Talk or I'll kill you! They're not with me anymore, Sandokan. I sold them to the Sultan, I swear it! You sold them to the Sultan? They're not on his ship, Sandokan. We just searched it. The holds, the bilges, everything! Look at all those guards, Sandokan. It's gonna take a little ingenuity to get in there. If only I could see Marianne, hear her tell me with her own words that she's unharmed. That's the sound of her violin. Yes, she is telling me that she's unharmed. Hmm. I will move her huh? on Earth to get her out of there. <gasps> my love, hurry to my side. 